think a lot of you, man, like I'm seeing my guys see it and lag out. These guys really play the game the right way. They're taking wide open shots. They're taking regular shots. They're playing the ball the right way. Bro, I seen see it out there over four games. It was like a combined two for 38 or something, bro. Like everybody else is hitting, but the lead guard can't score for some reason. It's like they got something. Like they got a hex on the on the on the lead guard and says, hey, if you hey, you lead guard, get over here. You're not gonna be able to shoot. Everybody else. Have at it. I don't get it. I don't understand. And I ain't gonna let see it try to grin and bear it as much as he can, but you can tell because he's a cool dude. But you can tell he's frustrated. Like, bro, I know I guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Come on, you're not there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. That's always full disclosure, man. Listen, we had a nice little stream, stream, streaming last night, man. Y'all boys absolutely killed it. 1.4. Uh, 1.3 thousand views, man. Got to get them likes up on that joint, 201. Uh, but listen, it's all good because y'all did y'all thing on the video yesterday, man. We almost got the 10 Gs, man. Listen, we gonna get the 10 Gs today. Y'all know why, because y'all boys gonna hit that like button. We gonna get over a thousand likes and this gonna get us going to the moon, Alice. We gonna get over 10 Gs a day if we do. We dropping that young streaming, man. And listen, man, I like streaming. So like, make sure y'all hit me up on Twitch. That's why I'll be streaming most of the time. Y'all continue to support the two 2k streams then you know on on youtube we'll do it on youtube man hey as such we gotta hit y'all up with the noted gang wall of fame man shout out to jay to young jay easy man yeah they went dollar tree with the patch on this one hey man they did man said, man that blue rhino is no joke fly over, <laughs> fly over most heads but i caught, caught it and that's super hard pause hey my boy charlie with the first man hey and then uh common sense he just says let's go oh gee i think the randoms i think i think with uh randoms when someone is open a big pass comes across their screen like i don't i don't even understand why they do that bro they were they're not gonna pass their screen but they're not gonna pass their joint and then last but not least top comment from yesterday the inconsistent latency time is still is still a big issue uh in the game it's a great way to prevent it's a great way to present prevent zens from being useful it also impacts others as well hence the reason why you'll why you'll go from shooting seven for seven to two for seven even though you're shooting from the same spot wide open with the same amount of stamina inconsistent latency in combination with strict release timing uh makes it pretty tough to shoot well consistently and i'm not gonna lie to y'all man because that's exactly how it is man we're gonna talk about this stuff right here and guess what i'm making a plea for the comp scene man because i ain't gonna lie to y'all man listen i watched my guy see it six seven and i watched my guy lag out uh play man and they two are the best i even why i even play with my boy t man it, it, it's bad bro like i ain't gonna lie to y'all man it's bad but listen we're gonna get into that and some more stuff man but with all that out of the way make sure y'all hit that like button let's get the 500 likes before an hour is up man let's just hit the like button if you're watching the video right now and then with all that out of the way yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's channel coming to you live with another video man we just gonna start it right off with this one here from swag returns man he say hey hey he uh top five and he's a vet three man hey got that winner circle let's see where they go oh oh <laughs> give me hey a post card look hey when it, i get triggered when i in anytime i see somebody post scoring on this game man because hey i ain't gonna lie to y'all man them post scores are doing their thing bro i ain't gonna lie they they they, they, they just they uh, hey they are borderline sensational i'm not gonna lie to y'all man but big shout out to swag return man big big vet three number five in the world man do your thing shawty do your thing up next we got my boy tj saying man hey i need my unlimited boost uh boost all five of these boosted uh and he's and baluba and chops and then he just says uh one two one two one and two been boosting since the event started three through five boosted last hour so it wouldn't look suspicious and we're just gonna see what he's talking about right here man let's look at them young statistics all right so uh yeah i ain't gonna lie to you man 484 right and then they almost 200 points in front of you yeah that's a pretty sizable margin and then he said the last one's just boosted the last hour just so they could go go buy him or you know get by him or what have you hey that's definitely that's reasonable right there that's uh you within fifty thousand points of the last one but uh other than that uh yeah th that's um uh, that's pretty 
I'm gonna say that's pretty obvious right there, my boy. Normally, like I said, like I would say, if you're close, then um, then you know it's something going on. But I, I can't say that that's the case, man. He said the kid with the sixth place, uh, the, the kid, this kid was in sixth place. Uh, I was in fifth. He had 50,000 points. He was 50,000 points behind me. Suddenly, he jumped to third place within an hour. Boosters of Hades, man. He said, I got to get him up out of here. Now, I ain't going to lie, Nate. I don't know if they're going to help you out any, my boy. But yeah, look at that. He says, uh, what, what? Nate was, was a Cuban. Hey, we can't even see him up there, man. Oh, here we go right there. I, I, I don't know, man. I can't see it. It's not clear enough for me. But I get what he's saying, though. He's, he's saying, hey, man, them guys is boosting. We need to get them boys up out of here. And then TJ come back and says, hey, I was fourth for five hours straight. And, uh, and we know he streaming, so we, we ain't got to worry about him. I was fourth for five hours straight, and I was 40K. Uh, the dude was fifth was 40K under me uh, until the last hour. Then three people that was never on the top 10 list the whole five hours came out of nowhere and just passed me up. Hey, man, I said, you got no proof that they boosted, man. But see, but he does have some proof, and he got more validity because he actually streamed this whole deal. And they, bro, the, the boosters is going to be there. Listen. This is the 2K community, the most toxic community outside of Call of Duty or what have you. But the, the 2K community is toxic in the fact they're going to do anything to win because they know that nobody's watching and they know that nobody has the balls to do nothing about it. They never do anything about it. You might see somebody get banned here or there or whatever, whatever. They just make another account and come back and play, man. They know nothing is going to happen. And when you're competing in an arena where you know that there are no repercussions for your actions or anything like that people are going to do the cheapest thing that they can do and uh whether it be cheating or, or not man that's just how it go man hey my boy i'll see the big heck putting this up here he said hey this was black crow he said i hate i hate post scores i can't respect it and then he says i was suggested i was suggested this clip on reddit what in the world is this cheese some people discover the most insane types of cheese. Cheap W's should not be gratifying. Shout out to the Reddit Maximus, uh, Maximum uh, Crumb, man. And like, like this is what we're saying, bro. This is the type of stuff that we do in the 2K community and we glorify it. And it's just the whatever the cheap and cheesiest thing that you can do, instead of, instead of us saying that's bad and you shouldn't do that, this is what we do. He's just going to sit there. Like, who would have thought that you could do something like this? You can taunt people and get yourself into position and then dunk the basketball, bro. Like, what is that? I understand the pump faking. Like I said, we need five seconds in there or something like that, man. But look at this, man. Back him down. Spin. He, he's scared. Hey, do the, do the thing. Turn all the way around. Now you're in perfect position. Who would have thought to do this? Like, like was that just by mistake like maybe he maybe he came in there and he just pump fake pump fake pump fake and then you know he hit the button by mistake or something like that i really don't know but that's crazy right there then but then we got cheese by my homeboy laker fan man he gonna be a big staple in this video he said mf thought that, that he was about to be paint sitting all game he didn't know about sabonis and we gonna look at this right here man like but who would have thought like from the from the comp side it's from the trash side and from the comp side everybody figures out the bs in the game and then we gonna use i ain't even mad at this though i really need to learn how to get this sabonis layup right here look at this he ain't know about sabonis okay Flotation device. How are you able to throw a layup from almost the, the, the three-point line? I don't get it. Spent the night on him. Get on that rim. Oh, rim. Rim. Oh, that rim. I mean, like, I, I don't know, man. We're going to find the cheese in the game, bro. I don't know why it's even there. Even with the pro play and stuff like that, we still have figured it out. Like, flotation device. Just look at that, bro. He floated that joint from, from the, uh, from the top of the circle, man. Ain't nothing you can do about that, especially if somebody's not not prepared for it. And then, like I said, then we wish for the cheese to come back. They said, bro, this was silver before the game. So somebody put this in there. They said, fast stop. Uh, this, this is what they had put in there. Fat, <laughs> fat stop into the double cross uh, with silver speed boost. And he said, bro, this is silver before the game dropped. Imagine how fun this game would be uh, would have been for the guards if the random if the randoms who play the game twice a month didn't tell Mike I hate speed boosting. And see, that's what I be saying, man. Y'all be doing so well. Bro, this was silver before the game dropped. Imagine how fun the game would be for guards. And you just saying just for a certain demographic. Okay, cool. You don't care about nobody else. It's fine. Um, for guards. Right, but that's what you play though, so I get it. I'm not gonna be mad because I be saying, hey, I don't have no problem shooting, but guards have trouble shooting. So I, hey, I, I'm not mad at that. Four guards, and then here we go. Then this is where it all goes to hell. 
if randoms who play the game twice a month didn't tell Mike, I hate speed boosting. So you can't take a shot at people and think that anybody's gonna be on your side, bro. Ain't nobody gonna be on your side. And then of course they're gonna say, when you say something like that, it doesn't matter what follows. This could have been the, the a guy taking the most skillful shot or could have come off a screen. He could have ran off of 18 picks like Reggie Miller or like Steph Curry. He could have done everything to perfection. It did not matter what came after that because you said that. And then obviously you see the stop. Boom, boom. And obviously right up under that, as soon as they put that mic, Mike came out of nowhere and was like, yeah, that's not going to be in the game. That's in this one, but it ain't going to be in the game. So don't even look forward to that. So you're not even going to, uh, you're not even got to worry about that. And then a hey, uh, big step says defense and offense move the same speed uh, for, for the most part this year. I don't see why y'all still complaining uh, to tip the scale. And he said, you're drunk. If, if you think that, if you think, if you think that uh, LOL or just playing casually, not from a comp perspective. And then you see, you see what I'm saying? Not from a comp perspective. And then that's when people say, we do not care. Because we're gonna say that we know when you try to say it and uh, in a condescending fashion, bro, nobody cares about you if you come at someone with condescension. We already don't care about the comp scene. 90% of the community, 99%, because the comp scene is 1%, less than a half a percent, 99.8% of the community feels like the comp community is ruining the game. You're not winning yourself any friends by looking down upon people saying, well, you know what I'm saying? Well, eh, eh, well you can't do it. You got to look at it from this perspective. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Nobody cares about comp. Nobody, like, that's, that's y'all's thing. So you can't make somebody care about something that they don't care about, they don't look into, they don't, they not feeling that, bro. So if you want to win some friends, you got to say, man, you, you have to find a different way. But speaking condes in a condescending fashion is not what you want to do. It's not going to win you any friends. It's not going to win you any supporters. Not that you may even care about that, but... If you don't care about it, then just keep them guys' name out your mouth. Talk about what you're talking about, because I guarantee nobody is talking about the comp scene unless what they're doing is impacting the game. But the casual scene is far larger than the comp scene. So, or and, and then the semi-casual we got yesterday, you know, some of my semi-casual scene where I where I reside, you know, my, I, I'm on Twitter and stuff like that, but. Bro, we don't we don't care about that stuff, bro. Like a lot of a lot of people feel like the comp scene is ruining the game for them. It's ruining their ex experience. And the problem is they created 2K as a game just to have fun. It's just like Destiny, just like Call of Duty. It was never meant to be a competitive game. So when you start tilting the scales to try to satiate a comp scene that nobody cares about. Then, then like, of course, you're gonna have the masses upset because you're pushing us in a direction that nobody wanted to go for the sake of a couple of people. But the, the, but the couple of people can't see them pushing the game in a way that the millions, like it's like it's like a hundred comp, let's say, let's say it's 10,000 comp players and it's 10 million casuals. Why would we, why would they push the game and tilt the scale in, in way of the 10,000 when it's 10 million that they need to be worried about because y'all don't make them even 1% of the money. It is what it is, man. I don't think y'all even understand. It's going over everybody's head. Up next, speaking of comp scene, this is how you would want to win some fans or say it in a way that's more, that's just, it's just more amicable, I guess. This is my guy, Laker fan. Listen to that young man talk, man. I'm just here to say that even though I'm not the type of dude that should be talking on this, I don't be doing a lot of shooting on 2K24, obviously, and you know, just in general 2K at all, but... I hope that the game stays as it currently is almost entirely for the whole rest of the year. Not even for the sake of that I think this is an A-plus gameplay that it, we currently have or anything like that. But honestly, I'm getting tired of seeing my whole team and myself and me even advocating for my whole team or my viewers to make brand new builds based on how the game is going to play. It almost feels like every single week, to be honest with you. There's been like patch after patch after patch after patch there's been things that are like limitless where it's been good at the beginning of the game then bad again now it's good again and i like that i like that it's good again because i think that's good for the game but holy shit is this so much fluctuation in the game right now there is just no consistency to anything that we've got out of the game so far so like i said i'm not here to say the gameplay is perfect right now by any means 
if they make one more change, hopefully it's maybe plugs potentially. And I don't know, even at that, once again, that's a whole demographic of the entire community who's getting their builds kind of revamped. And, you know, we've seen this time after time the last two years now where everybody just makes, you know, high steel builds and then it gets nerfed. And then everybody's like, well, you deserved it because that was some bullshit in the first place. Exactly. And then I'm like, bystander to all this stuff. And I'm like, well, they kind of a point, but like at the same time, damn, that kind of sucks. <laughs> the dude's whole builds are getting completely revamped and useless. And now they got to make new shit again. And it's just right. a constant, constant theme that we keep on going through. And then this year it feels even more pre prevalent than ever before. So here I am about a month and a half into the game. And I'm just hoping that everything that we have now potentially just stays pending some other game breaking stuff that needs to get See how Laker fans saying it, man. He's saying what he wants or what might be good. He's taking it in terms of what's good for the game, not just what's in good when in, in terms of what's good for me or what made me get it back in 2K16 when the game would like and 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 you know I don't want he don't want to sit on progress. He wants it to progress. Y'all want it to be the same game that it was. It's never going back to that. So we might as well just get used to where it's going. But you see, he's saying what he's saying with other people in mind. He's saying, yes, plucks need to be nerfed. But then again, do they need to be nerfed? Because that's going to cut out a whole demographic that spent all this money on the game. He's looking at the thing the same way that I try to look at it from both sides or what have you. And that's what you have to do in these situations if you want to win yourself some fans. He did a whole a whole uh, lot more on that rant. And uh, we'll talk about it, uh, you know, a little bit more. Actually, we're just going to finish it out, man. Let's let, let's let the young man finish it. Patched, like along the lines of that right stick steel stuff. That stuff had to go. It the, had the to glitch, go. that is, of spamming up on your stick over right. and over again. Well, a lot of y'all probably didn't even know about that. But yeah, you could. That's, that's how people were getting so many steals. But that's over with now. Or, you know, I don't know. There, there's plenty of other small things to be done here. But holy shit, it's just so annoying for the sake of everybody that's around me with their builds and, and me trying to like put on for everybody of what fits like my squad best. And I'm sure some of you out there are like that as well, or trying to keep up with meta quote unquote. And then there's dudes that be like, we'll just make the builds that you want. But then you come to find out the interior defense sucks and it's it's I, pointless and my bad my bad by that i mean interior defense is really good in this game but the rating itself is. is worthless to upgrade and then it's like I well don't think so, but I I, if i'm competitively speaking i might as well just revamp my whole build at that point and again it sucks for the sake of me even approaching things like that because man this game just felt so incomplete coming out and now it's finally getting into a good spot but there's still so many like minor things like that and now if i go talking about to other people hey make builds with low interior defense and then medium to you know average block you don't need it at a super high level then they don't do that please please don't do that what he's saying right here, don't, don't don't do that you're not playing at a super high level guys so that's why he's saying he's putting the caveat in there at a super high level don't 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 make no build with no interior and no block or low interior and block you you're gonna get crushed in the wreck he's talking about at a super high level where they play on different sliders they change the game and then it's like, well, damn, now I got to do it again. I got to make a whole new build for that. And then it's like people saying, well, just make whatever you want and stick with it. Well, what happens when I'm just at a complete disadvantage in terms of the gameplay? Like before they buffed the dunk meters, it's like, holy shit, bro. 97 dunk is like the most useless thing I've ever seen. Now it's okay. But once again, if I made the build and just stuck with it, what's my hope all year that it's going to ever change? If, you know, everybody in the community just wants the same game to stay the same for like a whole month two months three months four months and then nothing ever changes and then you're just sitting there with a dog shit build and that can't do what you intended for it to do so exactly gameplay director stuff they need to figure this shit out better like before the game even comes out this was a very bad early release to the game of a lot of things going wrong with a lot of changes that were necessary but here we are hopefully we can enjoy the rest of the year now and some people still can't because the plucks are pretty crazy. But hey, I don't know. I mean, shooting, hopefully people can just get acclimated with the shooting. It, it seems easier now, 100%. And people just got to get adjusted to the fact that there's less speed ups. Now there's slowdowns. I don't know. It's just, speaking of all types of 18 million things that have changed this year, shooting has absolutely been just at the front and center of that. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of stuff like that. I know this is a pretty long winded one just to say like two points, but it, it has been frustrating to see like firsthand and secondhand from other people I play with and obviously just viewers and stuff too. So like we said, that's how you would phrase something like that. Like these things, if you want something in the game, you got to 
say it a certain way, but I ain't a lot of you, man. Like I'm seeing my guys see it and lag out. These guys really play the game the right way. They taking wide open shots. They taking regular shots. They're playing the ball the right way. Bro, I seen see it out there over four games. It was like a combined two for 38 or something, bro. Like everybody else is hitting. But the lead guard can't score for some reason. It's like they got something. Like they got a hex on the on the on the lead guard and says, "Hey, if you hey, you, you lead guard, get over here. You're not gonna be able to shoot. Everybody else, have at it." I don't get it. I don't understand. And I ain't gonna lie, see it. Try to grin and bear it as much as he can, but you can tell because he's a cool dude. But you can tell he's frustrated. Like, bro, I know I can shoot in every other mode, and I know I'm just as good, if not a better shooter, than most of these guys that are that, that are hitting shots on the other teams and stuff like that. But it's just like lead guard. Everybody else, you'll see the two, the three, the four, the five. They can be shooting 50%, 40% like that. Lead guard always, they always got him down there one for eight, two for eight. I don't care who it is. Not just see it. And everybody ain't taking bad shots, bro. Like you literally can't even shoot. And then we talking about this right here. They were like, Maluba caught line. He's like, the contest system changed a lot. The man highlights greater emphasis on body position instead of uh, just a hand location. A uh, big reason for this is, you know, the big reason for the ghost contest uh, last year. Heavier penalties for uh, for being crowded at the start of the shot, less for out of position late closeouts. And we already know them out of position late closeouts, bro. You 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 still getting getting crazy contests. And then last but not least, my guy said, this is what I'm talking about right here. My guy logo say. Listen, whose idea was it to remove shooting in the pro-am on the hardest shooting game yet? Can we not get them, can we not get them to fix this? I've never seen players sit in barbershop chairs in the middle of the court in my life, bro. And that's that's it. They just dropped the mic right there, man. That's that's really, really what's going on with it, bro. It's like they literally have deleted shooting from Pro-Am, and it is insane. Like I said, my guys, I'm sitting there watching one of the best shooters that I've ever played with, light it up in every other mode. He goes to Pro-Am, cannot buy a bucket. It's just like the like that thing with a dude. Like, bro, he can't buy a bucket. And it is, it's borderline sickening. It's sad. That like I, I ain't gonna lie. When you watch it at first, you be like, you you laughing because you're like, dang, bro. Like, see it bricking the night. Then you watch it two or three games in a row, and it's like, bro, what's going on? And then at the end, it's just sickening because it's like it doesn't matter how open he is, who passes in the ball. Somebody got platinum dimer. Like lag out will get a board with platinum dimer and doggone what's what's it? Uh, platinum place pl play, post playmaker and kick it out to him. Sid is literally blast ass open shoot the ball the same way time it break and, it, and it's, it's nothing that he can do you can't tell me that this game has a skill gap when they have randomized things like that and this seems like they have just hexed the the, the the lead guard and then meanwhile hey you know joe knows is out there like he, he just said hey i can't shoot i'm just gonna dunk it and that's he just go to the rim and just beating everybody just dunking the ball 45 standing dunk whatever it is with the dunk meter and just going up just dunking it right in the, i don't know man i just think that if something like like they can't leave it like it is right at least in the pro app every every other mode man I, I don't care what they do i'm gonna shoot the ball regardless i don't play those other modes so i'm not worried about about that but at the same time bro come on man y'all can't they can't leave it like that so some changes have to still be made some things have to be adjusted in tune i think they need to look into the game internally because bro the momentum heavily in the game the doggone shooting slump heavily in the game. It doesn't matter what it is. You miss your first shot. Tell me in the comment section right now, if you miss your first shot, are you not, are you not on pins and needles the rest of the game wondering if you're gonna be missing the rest of the game or what? Because I don't know if I miss my first shot because it's lagging or or you know what I'm saying? Did I miss my first shot because I'm lagging? Or are they making me miss the rest of them? Or did I miss my first shot because they're gonna make me miss everything else? Or did I miss the first shot because this is one of those games where I'm not gonna really be able to shoot? And then I got games where I can hit stuff like this right here with no problem. Come down court, look. Coming down court, hit these with no problem. And then I have another game where I just can't hit anything. So it, it, it just is what it is, man. Like I said, I try to mitigate it as much as I can. I know when I'm having a bad game or what have you, but am I having a bad game because I'm lagging or did I have a bad game because I missed my first shot? And did I miss my first shot because I was desynced or something? Or what? I don't know, man. We got to figure this thing out. And like, like Laker fan said, that's something that's irrefutable that nobody can really argue. And they're going to have to figure out. Dev's got to do 
a better job on it but if it's going as intended let's just let it ride man i don't i don't know man like i said it doesn't impact me but it doesn't mean i can't see that it's an issue and it's a huge issue these guys are some of the best shooters of all time my boy fly tanner last night playing with see it catching the wide open passes at the two breaking atomic breaking like i i don't get it everybody ain't bad bro everybody's not bad at the game and like i said when i talked to that young man in the chat the other day i understand way more what the casuals going through it's just too many changes and they need to stop this stuff but we're gonna figure it out y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'll holler y'all next time till next time hey, it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's channel Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.